Hello everyone. It is our last day in Villefranche-sur-Mer. We are gonna try to go to the beach for like a little bit. It's a little later than we anticipated, but that's okay. <laughs> and then we're gonna try and go shop around the city for a little bit, maybe. Then we're gonna go to the airport and fly up to Paris to go to Disney. Okay. I just know the stress of the sport. Oh, oopsies. <laughs> yes. Do I give a f? No. Oh. <laughs> but if you take us off, you're like, sorry. It's okay. I'm, I understand. <laughs> Morning beach kitchen. Here she comes. <laughs> Trying to ignore all the beach food. I, ye oh, yes. <laughs> this is me going balls deep in the Mediterranean. <laughs> today. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yay! There's fish. Fish! Fish. 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 <laughs> it is so cold everyone. And I'm about to submerge my tits and my shoulders in this cold ass water. And I'm horrified. He's being such a baby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Facers. <laughs> Sophia is getting her hair tie. It's, it's going down, 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 down. Haha. All right, we got like 10 minutes left here. Going to miss it. But we must move on. Bye, beach. Bye, beach. I want to see like a shark a or a shark. sea turtle. Like, what do you got to do to see a sea turtle in the Mediterranean? Right? Yeah. Okay. Animal sightings of the day. Seagulls, pigeons, fish, and crabs. We saw a lot of little like fishies. Um, I don't know what they are. Um, we saw a couple little, a little bit bigger ones with like, they're like white clearish with like stripes. It was cute. And then the crabs were pretty tiny, but they were cute. Wait. Hmm. Why am I the only person in town with her titties out right now? Like, okay. <laughs> Sophia said, let me join. Pigeon. This is where we ate. Oh my God, this is where we ate. <laughs> Wow. Like you don't have to run. 
fish market seems to be popular with these guys. <laughs> Not gonna see the third time. No. The camera. Okay. Okay. We will be back for this market after we shower and pack up. Me. Save me gelato place. Life finds a way. We are almost there. <laughs> there she is. We are sad. We're leaving this beautiful, gorgeous view. But we're gonna go walk around the city for a couple hours and then go to the airport. And yeah. Yeah. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> we have about an hour and a half till we've got to be back at the hotel to get our Uber to the airport. So we're going to go into town, get something to eat. I want to buy a shirt and we're going to shop around a little bit. We're saying goodbye to the fishies. Oh, bye fishy. Bye fish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the way it's so smudged from the water. Right, I'm crying. No pigeons over here today, dude. It's kind of freaky. Sleeping. <laughs> it's kind of sleeping. We're hoping all the shops are open. They should be. It's like the same time as yesterday. Oh, but yeah. I guess it is the weekend. So I don't know if there's tea. Got a shirt made in Italy. It's true. And Sophia got a couple more postcards. Uh, no, but... Sophia is ready for the market. I'm so ready. <laughs> This, this is really cute. It's cute. Okay, well I know what I'm having. Okay, but actually I'm definitely getting one of those. All right, we got a cinnamon latte. And, that. and here is that chocolate cannoli. Chocolate cannoli taste test. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Delicious, but not as good as the hazelnut one from Leon. All right, these are the ricotta pancakes I got with bacon and a salad. All this, nine euros. What'd you get? I got the focaccia, uh, Tuscan panini on the Telefield croissant and a cappuccino for $13. Mm. Wait, Nutella croissant? Ah, uh ah. -uh. I didn't even see that. We moved outside. It's true. Review. The pancakes, they're a little dry. Um, you definitely need the syrup and the fruit. Salad's good, standard salad with tomatoes. Bacon, that's like the best bacon I've, had I've ever had. I don't know what they cooked it in. And I don't like fatty bacon, and this is very fatty. Phenomenal. 
Sophia review. Um, Tuscan panini, literally so good, like nine out of ten, super good. We love that. Um, the chocolate croissant, as you can, Nutella croissant, as you can see, it's gone. Yes. It's literally eleven out of ten. I will be getting another. <laughs> you can hear it's starting to rain. Yeah, we did some night shopping. AKA, I bought a bunch of people's souvenirs. Great. There she is. Goodbye, fishies. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ugh. Nothing like one last mountain climb. <laughs> Literally. Got so cloudy so quick. but now we're delayed to 410. Yay. <laughs> okay. Update. This airport is cursed. I bought nougat for my father and it cracked immediately. And I spilled water in myself. Then Sophia let me know that our flight got canceled. And we got put on another flight four hours later at a different airport. So that means the shuttle we've already paid for in advance to take us from Orly to Disneyland, no longer valid. And the shuttle service from Charles de Gaulle to Disneyland stops service 15 minutes before we land. And also there's no trains directly available. So we're either gonna have to take the RER train or pay an absurd amount of money for an Uber. So our lives are great. Yay, we love that. And then But well, at least we're together. Girl, I don't give a shit about that. Okay, we've got like an hour and a half till we board. A little under two hours till we take off. <laughs> um it's not so much the fact that like we're dealing with a delayed flight, like I've dealt with it a million times. I live in Florida. Obviously, most of my flights get delayed from weather. Um, I think it's the fact that we had to change airports, one. We paid for and a shuttle that we can't use. We paid for a shuttle from Orly that we cannot use, and I don't know if we can get our money back for that. And then now, transportation from Charles de Gaulle, since we're delayed, the shuttle service that we could have used from there is done for the day by the time we land the direct trains from there, done for the day. So, also, we intentionally chose a road pretty close to the front. We were like row 14, now we're row 26, and we don't have a window seat anymore. And we intentionally chose a window seat on the right side to look at the French Alps out the window of the plane. And now we don't have a window seat. Cool, thanks, Air France. <laughs> I think also what kills is knowing that if we knew we were gonna be just sitting here this long anyways, we would have just taken a train. Cause we both like trains way more. And the only reason we didn't do a train is cause it's pretty long, but based off how early we had to leave our hotel and get here, and then how long we had to sit here and the actual flight and all things considered, it's probably going to be about the same time. All right, now that they're finally done with announcements in this airport, I hope. We got these cutie little mints from our hotel and they're orange flavored. We love it. Okay. We were low key geniuses. We were geniuses to separate our Aero's confetti now to save time tonight. Yeah. Since now we have all this extra time. And now, y'all remember that Kinder Bueno I bought at the train station or whatever station? Yeah. It was Monaco, I think. Yeah. Yes. I'm about to feast. <laughs> and. Our new flight just got delayed by 30 minutes, which may add is how long our original flight was delayed and then it got canceled. So. Good note, we get an 11 euro meal voucher for free for our flight cancellation. So we're gonna try and find somewhere to get food. Shout out Jamie from Jamie's Deli. 
Okay. We redeemed our meal vouchers at Jamie's Deli. Shout out, Jamie. Um, we both got chicken Caesar baguettes. So if you got chips, I got a pano chocolate. Um, on top of our 11 euros. We each paid like a dollar. We, yes. She paid, yeah, mine was 40 euro, but whatever. 40 cents? We moved so I could charge my phone. It's true. Is it good? Okay. Yeah. Thank God. Actually, that's literally the ocean. Right. Okay. Thank God. We're boarding. <laughs> Let's pray our bags are actually going. We're supposed to. We checked, and they are. But that's what they actually are. <laughs> We're trying to be on the tarmac in France. <laughs> we. Oh. Girl. I thought you wanted on video. No, this bitch just fell. <laughs> I'm telling myself. <laughs> oh. Okay. I love the little cup holders. What? I love the little cup holders. Right. And then. So you got these sesame crackers. I got cookies. I'm not a fan. Oh. Oh. I'll try it. Are you happy to be on Perry? We. Oui. Rumors are true. We got our luggage. Thank God. Thank I was God. really scared. Sophia's luggage tag was not dating. <laughs> so. Okay. We took the L. We just got an Uber. We don't care that it's like 77 euros. We don't want to deal with the train. Um, the RER right now it takes so long. And we just want to get where we're going. It's 9 p.m. Even though it's super bright out, it is 9 p.m. We want to get to the hotel and go get food. Oh. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, before we move on from the French Riviera, I wanted to do a haul of everything I got. Now, most of the stuff has already been shown, but some of it has not, especially the stuff I got the last day. So let's show all that off. Let's start off with these magnets. These are scratch marks from Fez, uh, my old roommate Sadie's cat. So shout out to Sadie and Fez. If you're watching, we love you. <laughs> um, but here are the magnets we got. We got Villafranche Sumer. I wanted to get one that kind of had like a 3D aspect to it. And then these two were just way too cute with the designs. I could not pass them up. I got Monaco and Villafranche Sumer. Also my lighter, literally love this so much. It is so cute. Now I'm pretty sure these were being sold with a bunch of other bookmarks, but I will definitely be using this as an ornament because I couldn't really find any ornaments other than like kind of the cheap glass ones that you see everywhere. So I wanted to get one like this and this is pretty cute. This is the little glass mouse I got in Ez. Literally so adorable. I couldn't find pins for every city, but I got these three. There's Nice, Ez, and Monaco. Also, we did not go to Provence, but lavender is huge there. So I wanted to get some actual lavender from there. I could put this in my coffee, basil, and herbs. I could just use for sauce and other things. And I got myself a tiny little soap. Got myself a La Vienne Rose music box. I feel like... That's something that you would see in a movie, like the grandma went to Paris and got a music box that plays Livy and Rose. So I had to get that. I'm a big snow globe guy, grew up collecting them. Not so much anymore, but I had to get a Villafranche du Mer one. This is so cute, it's got the clock tower and some other buildings in the city. Also, I do not collect plates, but this was way too cute to pass up and it was not expensive at all. So I got it. We've also got my Villafranche du Mer tote bag. I did also get this long sleeve shirt there from our hotel and our checkout. We got mints, made in France. Super cute, excited to try them. I love to get art when I go places if I can. So I got a few prints. I also got postcards. So let's start with the prints. These three, I did show off in my Ez vlog, but these are just so cute. This is the garden in Ez, Dove and this dress over here. I honestly don't know where all these places are, 
but <laughs> it's um I, they're just super cute i had to get them i'm pretty sure this is nice i think this is monaco this looks like ez and then this kind of looks like villefranche sumer but it also could be ez or maybe they're all ez because i got it in S. I have no idea these are just too cute though now i did have to get this map with that whole area and this was free and we love free things next we've got the postcards i love to get postcards anywhere i go because it's the best souvenir they've got them everywhere you go they're super cheap always and there's so many things you could do with them you could put them in like a scrapbook or a photo album on your fridge you can just throw them in a drawer you could send them to people so many things to do with all these so I got cans, even though I didn't go there, how to get it. Antibes, Ez, Villefranche Sumer, Nice, three from Monaco. And last, I got this complimentary one from our hotel we were staying at. Notably, it looks like it's like a yellow here and the whole building is now pink. And then we had this in the room, so cute. Dear Vincent, welcome to Villefranche Sumer. I also got this towel from Villefranche Sumer. And let me actually open it up. I haven't looked at it yet. <laughs> How cute, love that. Hey, future Vincent here was editing this, realized I didn't do an outro, so I'm doing it now. That's gonna conclude our travels from the south of France up to Paris to go to Disneyland Paris. Tune in for the next vlog to get a tour of our room in Disneyland Paris. We'll also have a separate vlog of our night in Disneyland Paris from the same day. We went to the Disney Village, which is their version of Downtown Disney. And then we've got a bunch of other Disneyland Paris vlogs coming. And then our last final Paris vlog, traveling home. So sad.